Thanks for hanging out with me today. I'm so excited for this vlog because I'm going to be packing and getting ready for my trip to Polly's Island, South Carolina. My friends and I are going over there to an Airbnb because of my friend's bachelorette party. It's gonna be so much fun because I don't think I've ever actually gone on like a group girls trip before. I know that sounds like so sad, but I just have never, just never done it. I never had the opportunity and I was always broke when I was younger in college. So I didn't really get to do anything in college or anything like that. You know, some people do beach week and stuff. I like skipped all of that. So I'm super, super excited. It's definitely gonna be quite an experience. I just finished up work and Charlie and I are actually gonna go to... Tyson's Galleria, which is like a really, really fancy mall with a lot of luxury brands and whatnot. So we're gonna go there because I have been eyeing something. I wanna see it in person first before I buy it. So I have been saving up my money for it and it's just been something that I've been wanting a lot in the past like a couple years. So I think I might get it. I'm not sure, we will see. I'm looking at my makeup stuff and I'm just like so lost what to do on like what to pack in terms of makeup. Like I'm literally just like staring at it, not knowing what to do. I kind of want to take my Thrive Cosmetics CC cream. I used to really like this stuff. I haven't worn it in a long time. So I kind of want to bring it with me. I'm going to bring this for sure for sheer coverage days. This is the Say Slip Tint. And I like this because it is SPF 35 sunscreen in it. It looks really beautiful on the skin. It's very, very sheer. Like you won't get a lot of coverage out of this. But the good thing about this is that you can layer. You can reapply this without it looking really heavy and cakey like some tinted moisturizers tend to look. This one doesn't do that it still appears really natural and dewy so i really like this but the only thing missing from this is coverage so i'm like well maybe i should bring this and mix it i definitely want to bring this i featured this in my last vlog it's the iconic radiance booster in the color honey glow i tried this on my skin today i really like the effect that it gives i might also put it on my decollete area to give myself a little bit of a bronzier look on my body i'm just torn because i kind of want to use a powder foundation because it is really hot this is the makeup forever powder foundation that they're known for i just depotted it and then put it in here so i might bring this for more of a mattified look and this really works well in hot humid weather if i'm gonna use this then the glow from this will disappear and I can't reapply oops, liquid products over a powder foundation, obviously, because it'll look horrible. So I don't know. I'm going to have to pick and choose my battles, <laughs> but I'm going to go ahead and pack my makeup stuff eventually. I will show you guys my, my, my bags because I'm going to be bringing a carry on with me and then a personal item. So I have this base carry-on rolling suitcase. And I have shown this before in my Savannah vlog. You can open this up. And then this, oh my gosh, so excited to use this. I bought this from Allie Glines. She's a YouTuber. She makes amazing beauty content here on YouTube. And she has her own line of travel what is this like makeup bags like toiletry bags so i love the gold like rose gold hardware and this beautiful i don't know like a what color is this it's like a grayish blue let me take this where it's a little bit brighter just such a pretty color and has a lovely compartment and this one is a brush book and i bought this separately so that i can bring all of my day-to-day -day brushes and this one it has the two mini cubes inside you can also take these out but i like the compartments and then you can put the brush book right on top and then you can just kind of squeeze bigger palettes at the spine i'm gonna slip that right inside my carry-on bag from Baze. Hopefully this will zip up. <laughs> These are just little things that I put out here so that I don't forget, but I'm gonna bring some eye patches for the girls and some face masks that we can use. I'm also bringing some pimple patches for everyone. And then this I love, I bought this from Amazon. 
and it is just a travel mirror. This is what it looks like. It also lights up. I think I might have to charge it, but it folds back up like this. So this is like perfect for traveling, especially when, you know, there are gonna be a lot of people using the bathroom mirrors. So it's nice to have your own mirror just in case everyone's hogging it. That's the situation. I haven't started packing yet, but it'll get there. I'm gonna start doing that when we get back from Tyson's Galleria. I will take you guys along with me and then show you guys what I'm debating with. I'm not sure if they'll let me film, to be honest. So if they don't, uh, we will see if I purchase it today or not. I don't think I will because it's quite, ex it's quite a commitment. Yeah, we'll see. my voice. I think my allergies are just really kicking in hard today. I sound a little raspy. It is Monday, so Memorial Day today. I have work off, so I thought this would be a really good opportunity for me to make a trip to Tyson's Galleria, which is a luxury designer mall. And I want to take a look at the Cartier Love Ring, which I've been talking about cryptically on this video. I already did my eye makeup today. I am wearing the Natasha Denona bronze palette. Sorry about the fingerprints. It just, it's the nature of her packaging. These are the colors. I did a really pretty bronzy look on my eyes today. But before I take you shopping with me, I wanted to show you guys a couple lip products that Merit Beauty kindly gifted me. And thank you so much Merit for collaborating with me on this portion of this video. I have two lip colors to show you guys and they are right up my alley because these are amazing like nourishing hydrating comfortable lipsticks that look just really creamy and I have them in two kind of different tonal nude colors. I've been really loving a nude lip, especially when I'm doing an eye look like this, where I'm using a little bit of an intense, you know, shimmery eyeshadow, and I want to tone down my face with a nude lip color. So I have the two colors in Baby and Slip, and I'm actually going to be using Slip today. Packaging of Merit products are just stunning. You just look so fancy when you pull it out of your purse, which I also love. Super minimalistic and sleek. Love the color and everything about it. So I'm gonna be wearing slip today, like I said, but I will show you what Baby looks like swatched on my arm. Baby is more of a mauve rosy nude, which I love with a more cool toned eye makeup look. Like when I use the Natasha Denona Glam Palette where the colors are a little bit more almost grayish or taupey silvers and stuff like that. I, or even like pinks and mauves on my eyes. I really love using this, but let me swatch this for you. You can see that it just is such a nice and hydrating formula even in this swatch. It's just like super emollient. And I love this color. It's so, so nice for a cool toned makeup look and then I will go ahead and swatch slip. 
Actually, let me do a better swatch of both of them together so you guys can see the difference. They're not like super, super pigmented. They are more of a sheer to medium formula, which I actually prefer because I think I have more control. But just keep that in mind. It is more of a wearable formulation. This here is Slip. As you can see, it's a little bit more on that orangey warm side. And then this one is Baby. I already wore these a couple of times before showing it to you guys and I just love the formula. I'm actually not gonna use a lip liner. Mm, should I use a lip liner? Okay, I'm gonna use a lip liner. I'm gonna use the Charlotte Tilbury Lip Cheat in the color Iconic Nude. And this is actually one of my newer lip liners too, which I've been loving. This lip liner actually makes your lips look bigger. So I just go like slightly outside of my natural lip line. Did that kind of sloppily. Okay, and then I'm gonna go ahead and put on slip. The texture is just so soft and silky. I just think it looks so nice. I think this type of nude color will go with literally like any eye look on any skin tone. I just think this will look beautiful. Thank you so much, Merit, for gifting me these lovely lip products. If you check out anything from Merit Beauty, make sure to check out their lip products because they are my ultimate favorite product that they carry. I love their lip oils as well. I have like every single color and now I'm so excited to try more of their um, lipsticks as well. So go ahead and check them out. I will put them in the description box. Now I'm gonna go ahead and Go get my purse and then let's head over to Tyson's Galleria together. Hello. Hi. Change of plans. So I was vlogging yesterday saying that I was going to Tyson's Galleria to look at Cartier rings. I didn't tell Charlie this yet, but when I went into the Cartier store, the sales associate was very rude to me. So I decided that I don't want her to get my commission. <laughs> <laughs> so I ended up ordering the ring online. So that's what happened, you guys. So I felt so awkward and uncomfortable to even try to film in that store. That was that. So now we are back at the Galleria and we're just gonna look at other stores because I'm in the market for a new bag. So I think we're gonna go into Celine and Pro I was gonna say Paris. That would be <laughs> nice. <laughs> and Prada. So that's what we're doing today. Day two. Day two. Day two. <laughs> Yesterday, Charlie and I went around Tyson's Galleria and we went, in, went into a couple of stores. We went into Celine, Prada, YSL. For once, all the stores that we wanted to go to, they didn't have any lines, but it's also because it was like on a Tuesday. <laughs> right after work. I think everyone already did their shopping during Memorial Day weekend, so no one was really at the mall. So we were able to take our sweet time looking around. I did get a huge box in the mail today. I told you guys yesterday that I was trying to buy the love ring. The sales associate was very mean to me, so I decided to just buy it online myself because I knew the size that I was gonna get. I just basically got the same size as my engagement ring and my wedding band. Yeah, so I wanted to unbox it for you guys. The box came a little awkwardly put together, so I was kind of surprised to see that by Cartier. It comes with an envelope that says Cartier here, and inside it's just like how to return it if you don't want it and your little certification of authenticity. It's really fancy. It's in this red envelope with gold 
<clears throat> foiled writing. It's funny because they included a handbag, like the, like the shopping paper bag. But then when you open it, you see underneath this bigger white box. And when you open it, it has a lot of shredded paper. Inside is this little box. It's bread. And that's all there is in this giant white box. <laughs> so I'm just gonna put that aside. This is the box. Very pretty. Just classic Cartier packaging. Not that I know what that is because this is the first Cartier anything that I've ever bought for myself. Before I jump in and show you guys the ring, the reason why I bought this ring was because I've been wanting this band for such a long time. Initially, I wanted the bracelet but the bracelet is upwards of like six to seven thousand dollars and that's just not something that i want to do in this moment of my life so the ring is much 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 more feasible <laughs> in my opinion compared in comparison to the bracelet super excited i'm just opening here for you and this is the box inside how beautiful it's like what you would find in like your parents or your grandparents dresser or something that's what it reminds me of oh so gorgeous and i think you press this to open the box yes mine's kind of out of the hold on let me place this where it's supposed to be when you open it you see the ring i just don't want it to fall but that's what it looks like it has this red string tag attached to it because if you cut this then you aren't able to return it but this is their yellow gold wedding band you guys probably don't know but my engagement ring and wedding band they are both yellow gold so i actually don't wear any silver jewelry i got it in a size four because that's four is still a little too big for me but i would rather have a ring that's slightly loose than something that's like too fitted i don't know it just makes me feel like i have i don't know i just don't like the feeling of really tight rings or even like well fitted rings this is what let me try to get it as close as possible this is what the love ring wedding band looks like super pretty so this is what it looks like on me on my fingers Anyway, just wanted to show you guys this little unboxing of the Cartier wedding band love ring. I ordered it on Monday and it came in two days. So I ordered it on Monday and then it came on Wednesday today. That's freaking crazy. Hey guys, so I wanted to give you a little update because I changed my mind. <laughs> I'm so indecisive. So basically, I changed my mind about the Cartier ring. I think I'm going to return it. Not because I don't like it, but the more I think about it, the less I feel like I can justify keeping it. I think I'm going to just save up a little bit more to get the Cartier bracelet. I know that's even more money, but that's something that I'll just work towards for the future because the bracelet was ultimately the thing that i wanted from the beginning i do really like the look of the ring it's just i think i can get that same type of look with something way more in it way less for way less money basically <laughs> i can't talk i'm glad that i sat on it to think about it i don't know charlie is telling me that i should sit on it for like another day to make a decision but i think i'm pretty set on returning it i think charlie and i are going to take Romper out on a little stroll around the lake near our neighborhood. We haven't like walked around like outside or anything. So that's what we're gonna do. It's been a couple days since I've talked to you guys about returning my Cartier ring, which I returned <laughs> successfully. I wanted to show you guys something. I made not one, but two very exciting purchases within the last couple of days. So I will be unboxing these probably in the near future in a vlog. So I'm super excited to show you guys, but basically I did some damage. I got something from Prada and I got something from Saint Laurent 
It's just sitting pretty on my little chair right now, waiting to be unboxed, but I'm going to save it for the next vlog. How fancy are these like packaging? This is literally the first time in my life where I made two large luxury purchases within a week, <laughs> let alone a year, to be honest with you. Um, so I'm super, super excited to share what I got with you guys that will be coming up in a future vlog. I'm not sure if I'm going to separate it into two videos, like maybe I should unbox one of them and then unbox the other in a different vlog, or maybe I should just unbox both of them and just, you know, go all out. <laughs> anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I am going to end this vlog right here. Exciting things are coming. I would love for you to hang out with me again in the next video. Please like if you haven't already, subscribe if you want to stick around, and I will talk to you guys in the comments. Bye. Before, cause lately I've been feeling so confused We've gone our separate ways and never see your face to face But in my dreams I'm always running